Here's the next video in a little series I'm calling Fun Probabilities. And we're going to uh, part two for probabilities with boxes. These are all taken from actuarial exams and specifically from the actuarial exams on my channel. I have a playlist called Free Actuarial Exams. So problem one, a box contains six red and three blue balls. One ball is selected and replaced with another of the other color. Select a second ball. Find the probability that the first ball is red, given that the second ball was red. And here's the answer. So let's let X1 be the color of ball 1, and X2 be the color of ball 2. Now, we'll need the probability that the second ball is red in our calculation when we do this conditional probability. So the way I like to think about it is I introduce another variable and then sum over all possibilities. And this, in this case, it's red and blue. And this uh, intersection can be written in uh, conditional probability. And then, and then we expand it. So we do we blue first, and then red. And now we look at the probabilities. The probability that x1 is blue is 3 ninths. And the probability that X2 is red, given that the first one was blue, is 7 ninths. Plus, the probability that we pick a red one on the first ball is 6 ninths times the probability of a red, given that the first one was a red, is 5 ninths. Those add to 51 over 81. Then the conditional probability is this. Probability that the first one is red, given the second one was red. This conditional probability can be written like this, but this intersection can be rewritten in conditional probability form. And then now we know how to calculate this given x1. So the probability of a red on the first ball is 6 ninths. Probability of a red given the second one is red, given the first one is red, is 5 ninths. Probability of drawing a red is 51 over 81 and then this simplifies to 10 over 17. Now problem two is a box contains 10 balls numbered 1 through 10. Five balls are drawn with replacement. Let's let A, the event A, be exactly two odd numbered balls are drawn and they occur on odd numbered draws. Find the probability of A. And what we do is we introduce some notation. So we let A sub 1, 3, meaning odd balls on 1 and 3 only. So that means we have an even on 2, 4, and 5. Here, and these are defined similarly. So A1, 5 is that we only have odd balls drawn, and they're drawn on the first and fifth draw. And then 3 and 5, only two odd balls are drawn, and they're drawn on 3 and five, the fifth draw. So now the probability of say A13, which means we the probability we draw an odd ball, and then this one has to be even, so there's five even left out of the nine, so that's the probability. And the three says draw an odd ball, so that's four out of the eight. And then this is even, which is four out of seven, and even again, which is three out of six, which is five over one twenty-six. Well it turns out if when we calculate these probabilities in this way, they end up being the same probability. So the probability of A, which means an odd two odd balls are drawn and they're drawn on odd numbered draws, is the addition of these three events, which is that they're all five over one twenty six, which is five over forty two. Problem number three. A box contains three red, two green, and one yellow ball. Three balls are drawn without replacement. Find the probability that at least one color is not drawn. So we're going to let R be the event no red are drawn, G be the event no green are drawn, and Y be the event no yellow are drawn. So if we look at the probability of R, no red are drawn, 
and the notation that we're going to use is this this one represents red green and yellow the same order as what we have here so the probability of no red and this is a classic hypergeometric distribution so we have three red we choose zero we have two green and we choose two we have one yellow we choose one and then this is over the total number of ways of six balls choose three so that is one twentieth now the probability of no green that means there's two uh, scenarios that we can draw two from of uh, two from the red zero from green and one from yellow or we can draw three reds zero green and zero yellows and then these are combinations so you can calculate that and of course it's over six to the third this is over both of those and it reduces to one-fifth now the probability of no yellow there's three cases so we choose one red two green zero yellow or three choose two two choose one one choose zero again no yellow or th three choose three so three reds two choose zero one or zero green one choose zero zero yellow and all this is over six choose three well then this is one half is that probability now the probability of an intersection so the probability of no green and no yellow is three choose three red two choose zero green one choose zero yellow all over six choose three and that's one twentieth now these intersections are not possible no red and no green or no red and no yellow or the three-way intersection so that probability is zero there's no way that it can happen so the probability of no red or no green or no yellow is the probability of each individual minus the probability of the intersections and then of course we'd have to add back in this three-way but those are all zero so this is the probability so now we plug them in 1 20th 1 5th 1 half minus 1 20th and this is 7 over 10 70 percent which seems a little surprising to me so the fourth problem and last problem the box contains four reds eight green and two yellow balls five balls are drawn with replacement find the probability that one red two green and two yellow balls will be selected okay well th this turns out to be the classic multinomial setting and actually this was too or you could think of it as multi hypergeometric so let's let x be the number of red x2 be the number of green x3 be the number of yellow so the probability of red is 4 over 14 probability of green is 8 over 14 probability of yellow which we're calling p3 is 2 over 14 so in the multinomial setting we let we want to find the probability that x1 is 1 x2 is 2 x3 is 2 so this is the coefficient out front we're drawing five balls and we have one red two green two yellow and here's the individual probabilities and we want one red two green and two yellow and then when this is simplified it becomes 960 over 7 raised to the fifth power yep well that's all i have for today hopefully you enjoyed that i sure did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye